you guys. I used a bidet the other day. And um, if you don't know what that is, it's a, it's a toilet and it's like electronic, it's like a robot toilet and it, it cleans you after you use the bathroom. It cleans you up. I know. I knew something was missing from my life. I just couldn't put my asshole in it. So I want to tell you, it was, it was my first time using it. I just want to go through the journey with you guys together. So um, take my hand, if you will. And um, I just want to tell you guys about it. Um, I, I, I went in. I sat down to pee. I did. I'd do it again, too. I would, in a heartbeat. <laughs> And I, one of them was, it said cleanse. And I was like, okay. Like, that, that sounds like magical. Like, if you want. I mean, I'm not really in like inspection condition, but if you want to cleanse me. So I, I pushed the button and all of a sudden, without like any prior warning or foreplay, it just started to shoot water into my ass. And I'll be honest with you guys, the first, like, my only thought while this was happening, like, my one thought while I was getting this water shot into my ass was like, you know, finally. <laughs> right? Like, like, now we're talking. Now I'm living. Like, this is day one as far as I'm concerned. I've been reborn. And that's how I feel. dry. And I mean, I'll tell you, having warm air blown on your ass, it's it's like I, I died and I went to heaven. And in heaven, I had warm air blown on my ass by a very willing group of angels. And um, so then I was walked out and I you know suddenly I felt kind of weird I felt kind of guilty I felt kind of dirty like like something happened in there you know like I that thing whatever it is it went somewhere that I don't let anybody go and I haven't let anybody go since and there's been offers and I said no walking out and I did something wrong and my friend asked me, it caught me off guard. He's like, hey, where were you, man? And I'm like, nowhere. <laughs> where were you? Where am, where, who are you? Who am I? I mean, who is anyone? Whatever. <laughs> uh, I was petting my dog the other day. Yeah. Not really, like, really scratching, like really getting into it. And it became so um, intimate that, you know, I like asked me, like, am I giving my dog like a hand job or something? Because like, I mean, let's just pull back for a second. Let's just take a look at the Venn diagram of like sexually pleasing someone and like scratching your dog like there's no tomorrow. Like the, the middle space is big, right? Like, I talk dirty to him, basically, right? Like, oh, he likes that, doesn't he? Which can easily be translated to like, oh, you like that? <laughs> yeah, you like them, huh? Oh, you like that. And like, I know his spots. Like, you're like, oh, he likes it behind his ears. That's a G spot, I think. A D spot. It's a dog spot. <laughs> and it's like, it's not, it's not all the time either. It's like, sometimes I'll be watching TV or something, and he'll like nudge me like he wants it. And I'm like, no, like we're a sexually frustrated married couple or something. Like, not tonight, honey. It's just the boss and the kids, and they've got this project at school. I blew all over my fingers and just, I'm tired. That was a lot of stuff to say. Um, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. The end. Osama! <laughs>